Hi, welcome to my channelings. My name is Barry and I'm a New York State licensed psychotherapist, professional spiritual intuitive. I do readings uh, from my intuitive end and on the psychotherapy end, I do individuals and couples and I take any out of network insurance course, once the deductible has been met. So today I'm going to close my eyes for a minute and we'll let them talk. Okay, let me just make a quick adjustment. Okay, good. Hello. Welcome in the light and love of the Creator. Today, we're going to talk about judgment and judgmentalism. People who judge are generally very harsh. They judge others. They usually judge themselves even more difficult, more harshly. But people make assumptions when they make judgments, they categorize, they lump people together. They say, okay, this individual meets this criteria that I have in my mind. Therefore, I'm gonna put them in this box. Judging is all about creating boxes and putting play people in boxes so that you believe you know what to expect you have taken their measure. But judgments are not a healthy nor an accurate way to deal with the world. Discernment is, and let's just talk about the difference for a minute. Discernment is being able to really see and understand the truth of what's going on to have an accurate sense of things. It involves emotions and feelings as well as intellectual analysis and judgment. And then you say, you know, when I really look about this subject, it just, it doesn't feel like it's gonna work. Or yeah, this feels fantastic. I looked at all the pieces everything falls into place. That's discernment. Judgment is looking at someone and saying, oh no, 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 never. <laughs> Somebody who looks like that? Or no, I'm not going to read this book. I hate books without red covers. Or what? You want me to have an office in that building? Look at it. Look at that number, look at the color of the facade. No, no, it's gonna be awful inside. That's judgment. Hasty, ill-gotten, without a lot of data backing it up, just sure prejudice in a sense. Now, in judging, when one judges, one is really trying to be safe. One categorizes the other so that you know what to expect. But there's a flip side because when you take the time to really understand the situation, frequently you will find that your initial judgments are not accurate at all. This guy with tattoos and hair all over and wearing a bandana. May be the kindest, warmest, most beautiful person. And somebody who's dressed really well and strikes you as, <laughs> to use the old term, a very upstanding citizen. May be a thief, a liar a hooligan, but who doesn't look the part, so therefore people trust him. So many times you meet individuals that 
just looking at them or getting a sense of their manner of speech, their language, you judge them to be a certain kind of a person. But if you give yourself the time to get to know them, well, of course, sometimes <laughs> what you project is their persona, their personality, but many times it's really not. It's just an image that for some reason they choose to project, but it's not them at all. So we want you to be very, very wary when it comes to judging. And a flip side of judgment is you have one experience, you assume A, it's always going to be like that, and then you extend that particular experience to all the other categories that are similar. I'll give you an example. Oh, I went to an Indian restaurant once. Oh, I just can't take curry. It was so spicy, it burnt my mouth. So that was a horrible restaurant. I'm never going back and I'm never going to any other Indian restaurant again and I'm never gonna eat curry again. That's judgment. Discernment is, hmm, I went to that Indian restaurant and I got a curry dish. I probably shouldn't have ordered it with the three red pepper symbols next to it. Next time, I'll ask and maybe I'll get it mild. Uh, or it could be that this place makes everything very spicy, so it's not necessarily Indian food, but that particular restaurant. So let me try another one that's more mild to my palate or offers a greater variety of heat levels. That's discernment. It's not generalization. The most important thing to really understand about judgment is it separates you from the other. When you judge, you keep a distance. You're not opening up yourself to get to know them, to understand who they really are. And odds are, if you're judging them, they're gonna be judging you. And you end up spending the day spending so much time and energy separating yourself from others, you wonder why you don't have any acquaintances or any particular friends at this location or in this aspect of your life. Just take a look. Areas where you tend to not judge a lot. How do you feel? Do you feel more welcome? Do you enjoy being in that situation more? and ones in which you're constantly judging. How do you feel there? Is it more cold and distant? We bet you don't feel really warm and welcome in any place that you're busy judging. So for your own betterment, and your own satisfaction and joy and happiness in life, really look at what you do and who you judge and how you judge. And discernment is a choice. Judgment, it's so many ways it's like a should. You're somehow picked it up, parents, family, culture. Oh yes, we don't like them. All of a sudden, 50 million people are just excluded in one quick stroke. And then you come upon some of them, you immediately judge them simply because they're in that certain category. What a horrible way to live life. Each individual, each situation is unique and take each on their own merits. Okay, thank you. In the love and light of the one we shall depart. Okay, this is me again. So, um, 
I have a web page. You want to read up a little bit more about me? It's Birthright Therapy. If you want to write me, you can write me at Barry at birthrighttherapy.com. Um, or, you know, you want to request a session, uh, need something clarified, do not hesitate to write. Or if you wish, you can write something in the comment section under this video. And please, if you like what you're hearing, if it piques your interest, do subscribe. And there's a little bell icon next to it. If you click that, you'll be notified when new videos are posted. So thank you very much. And until the next time, goodbye.